I think Barack is, is doing good for the last few days. You know, I hope he's going to do good for the country for this four years that he's going to be a president. It's only been a week since President Obama took into office, but he already counts with great approval ratings. I think Barack has done a good job so far by signing the executive order to close down Wasango Bay. I think that's a great step for justice of those people that haven't done anything. And I think he, he's done a terrific job. I think he's doing good with the economy. Hopefully he'll change this around with this global warming and stuff. I feel like um, this is a whole new experience for us. And all of us, I feel like we actually have a chance. Like, he seems different. He seems like he gives basically not just black people hope, he gives us hope because it shows that any like anything's possible and that if you want to go for something, you should shoot for it and not give up. And hope is certainly on the air for the Latino community. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm rooting so he does better and does more stuff for us. Pues si está haciendo un buen trabajo. Yes, he's actually doing a good job. I would like him to advocate for us, for the immigrant community. There are many undocumented who don't have a job, who can't get a job. It is very important to have job opportunities for all. It's very important that he has opportunities to work with more people. He's going to turn everything negative into positive. Wow, he's going to turn everything negative into positive. I mean, it's great if people think that, but does it also set you up for the possibility of too high expectations uh, almost inevitably being dashed? Yeah, and I think he's, Obama's starting to recognize and he's trying to temper expectations because he, he, he knows that he can't solve everything overnight and it is going to take a while before we start seeing the economy improve and, and tackle some of the big issues. So I think he's correct in trying to temper down some of the expectations. Like, what's the downside of a 71% <laughs> approval rate? You know? No, well, that's true. Look at the facts. He has an incredibly high approval rating. Um, and the re other economic reality is about 730,000 plus individuals have, have received pink slips on their jobs getting unemployment checks between the beginning of January, uh, December and now. Uh, there's a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. People want to believe that this president, you know, they, he's going to be changed. They're, I think you have to give him the benefit of the doubt. He said this is what he wants to do. I think we have to support that effort. I'm not going to agree with all those measures, but give him a little bit of time to get in there, get that done. I have to comment on the Guantanamo Bay thing. I mean, the, the, the mastermind behind 9-11 is one of those 245 individuals held in Guantanamo Bay. No other nations want to take more than a handful of them. These are terrorists who are trying to harm this country. So to think, you're, you know, there's an easy solution about what to do with them, I think is, is very short-sighted. Well, th that person... That was uh, one little right. comment, but I couldn't let that go. One there's, little comment, but it also wrong. should be pointed out that hundreds of people who spent years there ended up just being freed. Uh, uh, very, very clear, very clear, but it's the issue of what to do, those, those planning of what to do and how to process. I think well, that's that's why Obama said he's going to wait a year <coughs> until, you know... I, I think going back to, to the, the, the enthusiasm across the country, uh, what it does do, and, and he does come in with great approval ratings and, and the like, what it does do is that there's, there's beginning to be confidence again uh, among the, the citizenry that, uh, you know, that the United States will, will get back on its feet and move forward. And I think that, that that's part of the psyche that's also needed in order you know, for folks to start buying, in order for folks to start investing, and and this, a lot of economists have said it uh, all along. You know, you know, the the Wall Street fluctuations a lot of times is about, you know, how confident people feel, and and when they're not feeling confident, they're not out there purchasing and 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 participating in the market, and I think that as long as we're moving in that direction, we we've got a good ways to go. Well, uh, as Leslie mentioned, a lot of people have been losing their jobs, but particularly in light industry and service in places mm -hmm. like Pfizer and Home Depot, where a lot of Latinos work, exactly. in construction, where a huge number of our workforce is engaged, um, is this these first couple of, uh, of legislative proposals out of the gate, are they medicine for what ails our community right now? Well, if they go toward the infrastructure of this country to, to, to building or rebuilding the infrastructure, the roads, the bridges, the schools, uh, there's a vast amount of money in those, uh, in those areas that are going to go from, from, the, from the stimulus package into communities across the country. And they, they have a, a, an enormous reach throughout communities, uh, not just with the, the, the companies that are the contractors, but the Home Depots, the, 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 you know, the, the other stores that uh, feed into that system. And I think that it has a great opportunity to bring Latinos into the, into the uh, package itself. 
What do you like? Uh, I think in the long haul infrastructure, a lot of people said that's the type of investment that can stimulate the economy. It takes a long time, though. That's the problem. You're looking at 18 months, two years. A lot of people are hurting right now trying to pay their mortgage today. Uh, the, the tax cuts, that, that was part of the debate with the Republicans for small businesses. That's really where they're trying to feel it, especially as they're preparing to do their taxes and what is the implication. Giving money back to people who didn't really pay taxes wasn't the, the, the right idea, I think, that a lot of uh, small business owners and, and just individuals were concerned about. Uh, it. I tend to be one of these that give the president the benefit of the doubt, but there isn't a lot there I see yet that's going to stimulate any communities of color.